We are so back and much needed. And what better indicator than Roaring Kitty making a post after three years? That's right, that Roaring Kitty that helped pump GameStop through the roof. I dare say the first meme coin to ever exist. 15 hours ago, he posted this not so cryptic image of him, you know, basically focusing in and lasering in. That single tweet 15 hours ago skyrocketed the GameStop meme coin on Solana and went up 3,000 and 2,000% respectively, depending on the pairing. With a total market cap of 55 million, it was just 28 million this morning and a lot lower before that. Check out the chart, y'all. This is not fake. This is not Photoshop. This is real. The meme token was basically dead in volume. And with that one tweet, it shot $50 million of liquidity into it. That's insane. Since that time, about 16 minutes ago, which sent this candle up another probably 100%. He posted more cryptic videos of comebacks of, you know, Infinity Gauntlet with Marvel and different movies of Wolverine and whatnot. We don't know what he's gonna do, if he's gonna come out with his own meme coin, maybe an NFT project. Hey, I'm not taking anything off the table. Now all we need is Roy and Kitty to make a tweet about a meme coin on any platform, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Base, you name it. And that's probably what we're gonna rally behind to flip Doge. Congrats to all you overnight millionaires, but reeling it back to more realistic things that's happening into the NFT Web3 world that's pushing the narrative forward, Pudgy Penguin at it again, finally launching into Target stores and just push the NFT price up. To date, they sold over 1 million products on Amazon, on Walmart, on Target. What other stores can they be in? But it seems like the kids like them and their emojis or, or GIFs are popping up all over social media. This has pushed the price of a Pudgy Penguin to let me zoom in for y'all, 38 thousand dollars who in the right mind is paying thirty eight thousand dollars for a right click and save jpeg but people are doing it healthy volume 13 soul floor i meant 13 ethereum a lot of people are buying solana nowadays because everyone thought ethereum is dead but it's not it's not dead it's back from the dead in fact this cool looking crypto punk sold on ethereum for 270 ethereum about eight hundred thousand dollars in the midst of what some people call a mini bear market Ethereum did outsell Bitcoin yesterday, but it looks like Bitcoin's back on top with $5.5 million sales on a day, followed closely by Solana. Ethereum definitely ain't going nowhere. They are coming back strong, y'all. In some pretty innovative news, Reebok is coming into the metaverse with AI, allowing you to make any photo that you want into their digital shoe for free. You get four of these bad boys, digital assets as they call them. I'm gonna get myself on some, and the NFT world seems to like these. A lot of people are thinking about putting their NFTs onto these digital shoes if you're asking who cares then you're a boomer and not with the times I i'm joking basically with these free digital shoes which you can get four of you can actually export them into fortnite roblox and the upcoming triple a mmo game called open inspired by ready player one you might be playing those games but i'm be playing those games with my own customized reebok shoes so in your face so no brands are not shying away in fact the voice are coming into nfts they are allowing you to be a voice coach and win nfts for selecting the right contestant this is another big partnership with sandbox and they're giving out a lot of sand money don't hate voices going on 20 plus i don't know how many seasons it has like three seasons a year i don't know what's going on but they have a lot of followers they're all around the world and people love them just showing that we're not going anywhere we're bringing everyone on board like we said it's software you can't get rid of nfts it's basically software Okay, Solana Saga Phone 2 and 1 are getting something really cool. They get paid for using their phone. I know, I know. You, you don't want to use your phone. You know, you want to keep it safe. But if you have a Web3 phone just sitting there that could print you money, wouldn't you have one of those? And I did make this call out to my private community, which completely paid for itself. It was only 450 bucks for the phone. I already got like four or $500 in free airdrops. And what does this phone have to do with NFTs, digital assets? A lot of these phones are given not free whitelist. They're given free allowed list for free mints of NFT projects that have gone on to be worth 20, 30, 40. So I imagine that to be the case for this next 100,000 batch. I believe it's all sold out. If not, they're sure to expand because 100,000 phones ain't going to penetrate the market that deeply. You may have heard of DPIN narrative, which is decentralized private network. That's really been drawing a lot of attention in crypto this year. And I don't imagine that to go away soon. Before everyone just laughed at it. Now, companies like Clay Helium, which is a mobile, a Web3 mobile decentralized uh, mobile service, is actually building a subscriber and user base. So we're actually seeing games run on decentralized nodes, not specifically off of people's phones, but I can imagine that can happen in the future and you can get paid for it.
In any case, there's so much happening in the MT Web3 digital landscape that your head can spin. Fear not, I help my community walk through every single platform, blockchain, there's so many of them, and find what fits you best so that you can thrive where your passion is and not feel burnt out. That's the main thing. In any case, if you love Web3 NFT and blockchain news, we got three market updates weekly, so make sure you follow along. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.